Did you know that if your company is not trading, you may not need to file full accounts at Company's House, and you could save a lot of money in accountancy fees? Well, keep watching to find out more. Hi there, Nicholas Cameron here from First Formations, the UK's leading company formation agent. In this video, we're going to take a look at dormant company accounts. Instead of filing a full set of annual accounts with Companies House, companies with no significant accounting transactions can file a basic set of accounts known as dormant accounts. If your company is eligible to file dormant accounts, it can save you a lot of time and money in accountancy fees, as they will not need to prepare full accounts. So let's find out if this is an option available to you. Companies House defines a company as dormant if it hasn't had any significant accounting transactions in its financial year. A significant accounting transaction basically means any transaction that needs to be entered into the company's accounting records. This can be something as simple as a bank interest payment or the settlement of an invoice, however small that may be. Importantly, the following transactions are the only transactions not considered significant. Fees that have been paid to Companies House. For example, the fee required to register the company or file a confirmation statement. Penalties paid for late filing of annual accounts. And money paid by shareholders for shares taken up when the company was registered. For a new company, the financial year runs from the company's date of incorporation to the made up to date. Then the financial year would be from the previous made up to date to the current made up to date. Simply put, your company should be able to file dormant accounts if nothing has gone through its accounting books during that financial year. Next, let's take a look at what dormant accounts actually are. Essentially, they are an abbreviated set of accounts for Companies House, submitted using the form Dormant Company Accounts DCA, also known as the form AA02. In each case, the following information must be submitted. The company name and registration number. The balance sheet date. Details of issued share capital, that is the number and class of shares, nominal value, and total equity of shareholders. The net assets, that is the called up share capital not paid, and the cash at bank and in hand. The date on which the accounts were approved by the directors, and the name and signature of one or more of the directors approving the accounts. Okay, so far we have covered what dormant accounts are, and the circumstances when your company may be eligible to file them. Now, let's find out how to actually go about filing them. If you wish to file your own dormant accounts, you can use Companies House web filing or the AA02 paper form to file them. Alternatively, First Formations provides a dormant company accounts service. We can prepare and file them for you for only $49.99 plus VAT, taking the hassle out of the process. If you choose to use our service, we will send you a short questionnaire by email regarding the submission of your accounts. Once we receive your answers, we will file your dormant accounts with Companies House within one working day. We will then inform you by email when Companies House accepts the accounts. The service is also renewable on an annual basis. Find out more information on our dormant company account service using the link in the description below. It is worth remembering that Companies House will fine a company if it submits its dormant accounts late, just in the same way that they would do if the company was filing regular accounts. The penalty starts at £115 and increases the longer your accounts are overdue. So there you have it. You should now know what dormant company accounts are with options on how to file them. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. 
In the meantime, be sure to subscribe to our channel to get more tips and advice on limited companies, reporting requirements and tax obligations and more. We're always happy to help and we can't wait to hear from you. Until next time, cheerio.